Well, if you're planning to hop on a plane for the holidays, buckle up and book it. Travel experts tell us airfare for Thanksgiving and Christmas vacations about to get more expensive. Okay, so 12 on your signs, Marilyn Moritz shows us some deals and also ways to avoid those sky high prices. I'm going to Chicago. Okay. Winetta just landed, but she's already dreaming of a white Christmas. Have you booked your flight yet? No, ma'am, I have not. I'm waiting for the deals to start. She may want to get a move on. You don't want to end up, again, waiting till the last minute and finding just not only expensive flights, but ridiculously expensive flights. Katie Nastro with Going.com says the time to book is now. But if grandma isn't counting on you for turkey and pie, here's an idea. Thanksgiving is actually the hidden best time out of the entire year to look to go international. Right now, Nastro says you can book a Thanksgiving week round trip flight to Dublin for $555, Montreal $396, and Panama City $392. Joseph McDonald hasn't booked his holiday sleigh ride yet either. I have not booked my flights and it's certainly questionable what those flights and rates are going to be at this point. Fares will likely take off soon, so here are a couple December domestic deals right now. Round trip to San Francisco, $208, and New York, $258. To find the best airfares, Nastro says be flexible with your dates and check out two one-way flights. So it might be cheap to fly out on American to your destination, but then cheaper to fly back on Delta to back to San Antonio. But if you miss the boat or a plane on holiday flights, consider this. You can get some of the best deals if you fly after the first of the year. Something really amazing happens where airfare drops up to nearly 80 percent. She says January into February is the best time to land a deal and without the crowds. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.